Slashaholics, I'm back and it's time for part three. This is day number three in the video game Friday the 13th by LJN for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, as you can see, we still haven't defeated Jason and he's even stronger, even though he's, what is he doing, sitting on his ass? He's got one hand in his pocket and the other one's scratching his balls or something through his pocket. I, I don't know what's going on there, but he's pissed. And for some reason, it looks like his mask is emoting, and he's got hair growing out of it. Maybe he's a Chia Jason, I don't know. Uh, but here on day three, our main objective is going to be to defeat uh, Pamela again and get the pitchfork. Uh, this is something you can only do on day three. Um, also, even though in back in part one of this three-part uh, episode, uh, we got the torch... Uh, but there's actually another way you can do it. You can get more letters and stuff. Uh, go to cabins. It tells you where to go. You end up in the woods. And that's on day one. I think you can do that on any day. We're going to try to stay away from the torch, though, because it kills them so fast. And I don't want this to be over in five seconds, because I am using Game Genie cheats. Just so we can, you know, get through the whole game together, beat it. But at the end of this part three, once I defeat Jason and beat the game with the cheats, I'm going to start the game over from the beginning with no Game Genie cheats, just so you can see how fast I'm going to bite the dust. Uh, so here we go. We're going to start day number three. Uh, maybe Jason will quit scratching his balls and uh, come after us. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to go try to find Pamela again and uh, get that pitchfork before we defeat Jason. Here we go. Okay, let's get Mark and uh, let's get to those caves and find Pamela's head again. Uh, here we go. The first thing we need to do is make our way to those caves. Like I said, we still got auto fire on, we're still invincible, and as you can see, we're still wearing the sweater, which is actually a t-shirt that's flashing for some reason. Um, I'm hoping that Jason doesn't keep us too busy while we're trying to do this, uh, and I don't want to kill him too fast. I want to have a little bit of fun with this. You know, play with our little, what are they, dead counselors that came back from the dead? And Jason is playing Monopoly with the kids somewhere again. Let's see where he's at. He loves staying by that lake. I gotta say, consistency is key, and they stay pretty consistent with that. I'd love for a knife or something to pop up as a weapon here, at least be a little bit quicker than the uh, spitballs that we're using. Let's see here. All right, here we go. I guess that's the kids screaming. That's what that noise is supposed to be. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's somebody... Oh, there's Jason. <clears throat> that's how he got to New York, by the way, guys. Just running through the water, not swimming in the water, just just running through it. My name is Jason Voorhees, and I'm the fastest man alive. There's a nightmare fuel children. Okay, and now where's Jason hiding at? Let's get him with our spitballs, guys. <laughs> it's like hitting us on top of the head. You win for now. <laughs> I just feel like there's somebody down there just like, oh, here he comes in the boat. Throw that zombie up there. All right, let's see which way Jason went. Ah, uh, and there's a jar we can cure somebody with if it gets real bad. Remember to stick around after I beat the game, because I'm going to go in and go without game genie cheats and see how long that can last. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very long. Uh, you guys are going to have a little fun with that, probably. Oh, we don't need to be in the woods right now. There we go. There's a knife. That'll speed things up a little bit. It's so easy to end up going into one of these rooms, but I've had a lot of fun playing this with you guys, and I hope you've had some fun, too. Is she the one that, uh... I thought maybe she's the one that we gave the uh, torch to, but I guess not. Not to mention, with the torch, we would be done so fast. Uh, but let's go into the caves. Let's go find Pamela. And, uh... I don't know why I'm getting another key, but you know what? It's there. Just take it. If anything, you can try to sell it to the American Pickers or something. So, uh, into the caves we go, eventually. The uh, all-famous caves from Friday the 13th, part 62. Return to the caves. What did we do last time? We just kept going to the left, I think, and all of a sudden we were there. Like there's a wolf or something right beforehand. Getting a little glitchy. There should be a wolf coming up somewhere. If I remember it correctly. 
feel like we're just going back to the same spots over and over again. <laughs> I mean, look how high this guy can jump. I mean, how did Jason ever kill the... Well, okay, so I've somehow went right back outside. <laughs> oh, that's right. I need the torch, right? That's uh, the torch to see the uh, cabin. So we do need the torch to uh, get to uh, Pamela. I almost completely forgot about that. So we're going to go get the torch. I gave it to one of our... We need to go out anyways because uh, Jason's tickling the kids somewhere. You hear him screaming and laughing and crying, oh, he's tickling me. And he's back at the lake. I mean, I think that I could just stay at the lake. That's all I'd have to do. Just stay at the lake and I could just fight Jason until it's over. Nope, nobody's in this one. I can remember who I gave the torch to. I forgot that we have to have that torch uh, to find Pamela. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what the rule is. And it is nighttime already. They call these days, but why do the birds only come out at night? You know, why not a bat? Every, every Nintendo game needs a bat, right? Ask the angry video game nerd. What's up, James? Uh, he'll tell you bats are in everything. And if you've never watched the Angry Video Game Nerd, you should really check him out. Alright, these kids with no faces need our help again. Why is Jason going left to right? Like, I mean, what, what's what's the strategy there? <laughs> and how is he so goddamn fast, too? Alright. Now, if Jason can give us a break for just a minute, we're going to go and we're going to get the torch back from whoever we gave it to and uh, I'm pretty sure it was on the way to the mountain area if I remember correctly or right past it so let's uh, let's see where we're at somebody said I can get it in the woods are you kidding me all right we'll do that in a minute Jason is tickling the children again oh here's the torch I, I don't know what's in here. I don't know. I guess I didn't do something correctly or something. Because there's no... Uh, let's go this way. Go left. Left. Forward. Left. Forward. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, uh, there's only one way to go. It's left, right? I mean... What the hell is in this cabin? Uh, somebody in the comment section, let me know what I did wrong there, because I made it to the cabin. There's just nothing there. All right, we're out of here. Can I not get out of here? What the heck? All right, let's, let's go find Jason before he kills all the kids. The game can still end if I don't find my way out of here, guys. We could be in trouble here if I don't, if I don't figure it out. I gotta find my way out of these damn woods before it's too late. Is this the same cabin we were in a second ago? Oh, I'm so lost, I don't know what I'm doing. This reminds me of Fester's Quest whenever you're... Which is another game we're gonna be playing before you fight the bosses. Um, anyways. Before you fight the bosses and it's, uh, you go through like a fake 3D thing. It's so confusing trying to navigate my way through this crap. Um, I know not to go that way, right? We want to go down. Oh, wolf! Shit! Big wolf. Yeah, these kids are going to die because I'm lost in the woods, guys. This game might be over before it, before it starts. Um, yeah, these kids, we're going to lose some kids. They're going to get tickled to death. All I can do is... Uh, keep trying. Oh, somebody's dead. I hope that wasn't our person with the torch. Hopefully Jason. There we go. We made it out. Oh my god, we made it out. Oh no, there's only three children left. That's not good. 
How much you want to bet uh, if we had checked the map, Jason would have been at the uh, lake? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, he's not at the lake, folks. He's not at the lake. I've never been so wrong in my whole life. I did not mean to go in that door. All right, let's go get Jason. I'm, I'm really, even with Game Genie codes, I'm really not doing good. I'm letting too many kids get tickled to death here, um, or have pillow fights with Jason. Uh, so she doesn't have, uh, she doesn't have the torch either. So, all right, Jason, where you at? Let's, let's get it on, and not like that. Oh, oh, he's after my dental hygiene again on day number three. You win for now. <laughs> no, no, you win for now. All right. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna find that person that had our torch. Damn it. I remember, I, I would have sworn it was somewhere, like, on the way to the mountain area, but I, I, I just can't remember. It might be one of the counselors that are dead now because I took too long. You and your friends are dead. Game over. Ah, she, she does have it. There we go. All right, let's go back to the uh, cave now, and we will uh, get that pitchfork. Well, first we got to go fight Jason, and hey, he happens to be where we're going to be going, so we're going to turn around, and go this way. Uh, this this Mark or whatever his name is, he actually uh, found a fire flower like Mario. Oh my gosh, I went the wrong way. We're going to have more dead children on our hands and it's all my fault. Oh my goodness. I'm really... Oh no, 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 no. Let's see, where are we at? And there's no way we're making it there in time, guys. I, I might have a game over here sooner than I thought. Am I going the right way this time? No. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, we're going the right way. Ooh, I'm lucky I didn't get that sword. That's one thing I don't like about this game. They, uh... You can have the best weapon in the game, and if you hit one of the old weapons, it, it downgrades you. It's really ridiculous. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to fight Jason. We're going to burn his ass. Sick burn, man. Look how fast that's taking him down. He's going to run like a little bitch. Yeah, run away, bitch. You win for now. <laughs> you lose for now. All right, let's get back in the, uh, in the, in the cave here. These wonderful, wonderful caves of Camp Crystal Lake. Every movie had, had some of the best cave scenes. So I've got the torch. And I think that's all we need to get us into the, uh, into Pamela's thing here. Let's kill this. Yes, I know. There's kids screaming. He's, oh, wait, here we go. Let's fight Pamela real quick. And, uh, we'll get to our, I need to practice a little bit of my dodging here, I guess. Ah! No, I'm not. I'm not quick enough to dodge her. If I fight her in the real game without genie codes, I'm so screwed. All right, let's get the pitchfork and uh, go stop Jason from uh, tickling these kids to death. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna take it, and we now have the pitchforks. Pitchfork, folks. And that's just something you can do on day number three. So now we're going to go and we're going to uh, fight Jason with the pitchfork. Oh my goodness. I'm glad this guy's related to Super Mario. 
Because if not, I wouldn't have been able to jump that. I don't even think uh, some of the other uh, characters you play as could make that jump. Oh my goodness, I don't know where I'm going, guys, so... Ah, if I die now. You can still die, even with the code on. <laughs> hey, he's right here. That That's, that's some good luck. So we're going to use this just to... Uh, Fight him with the pitchfork. Let's see if it does more damage than the torch. I don't know. It, wh why am I playing hide and seek with Jason in these cabins? Seriously. Like, is he just, like, hiding in a dark corner somewhere? You know, just... <laughs> Where's Chrissy at? Wow. It's doing some damage for sure. Like, like, where does Jason go at this moment? Is he teleporting away, like, in the new game, or what? I guess the sweater gets passed on, too. That's pretty cool. It actually makes sense now. Like, Jason, I know Jason's dumb and everything, but, uh... Oh, here we go. I figured he would have went to the right, but uh, it looks like he did not. So we're just going to go ahead and finish Jason off now, guys, and find out how this game officially ends. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then you get to see me die pretty quick, probably, when I try to beat this game uh, with no cheat codes. So, here we go. I swear, if I jump and get a sword or something, sword, fire poker, whatever, I'm going to be so mad. Yes, I'm aware there's no swords in this game. <laughs> I'm just not going to jump. All right, Jason back here at his favorite place. Good Lord. This Mark has, like, got an endless supply of pitchforks, and he's a hell of a thrower. There's no way to avoid being hit by Jason right there, I don't think. Or the damn bird. Alright, let's fight Jason. Come on, he's half dead. I wonder what, I wonder what it's going to say when you beat him for good. Alright, Jason, take this pitchfork up the arse. I really should be practicing for uh, when I fight him for real pretty soon. <laughs> you win for now. <laughs> You win for now. <laughs> Sorry. Or Freddy. You win for now! That was Chucky before that, if you weren't sure. <laughs> I know I don't do the voice great, but... Try to have to laugh a little bit. No spoilers on the Chucky TV show. I'm waiting to watch it. I'm gonna wait until uh, the season's over and binge that sucker. Good lord. Yeah, I, I would say that's the best one. Just one hit and they're, and it passes through all of them. Alright, Jason. I'm just going to assume you're going to the lake again. My god, these, these faces, or lack of faces... And I guessed wrong, Slashaholics. Looks like I'm going to finish off Jason not at the lake. I was going to have some fun with that. Alright, looks like we're going to finish Jason off in a small cabin, guys. Get ready for the end of the game. This is going to be it, probably. Yeah, he, he's done. And that's it, guys. We did it. You have finally managed to defeat Jason, but is he really dead? <laughs> We're not. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, hold on. You have finally managed to defeat Jason, but is he really dead? We're not telling. End. <laughs> okay, sorry. Just the way that's written. We're not telling. They're being so coy about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah. <laughs>
we have defeated Friday the 13th uh, in our first episode in part three of our first episode here on Retro Horror Gaming. So many more games coming, guys. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I really appreciate you all sticking with me as we beat that game. I know I used cheat codes, but we got to see the entire game. I uh, got to see what you could do on different days. Thank you to the people that gave me tips in the comments section. I'll be back very soon with another episode of Retro Horror Gaming. We're going to be trying out another Nintendo Entertainment System game. Not going to say what it is yet, uh, but it will be dropping very soon. Uh, but for now, before we call an end to this first episode, uh, let's play Friday the 13th and see how long your dear 80 Slasher Librarian can last without his precious cheat codes. Okay, Slashaholics, as promised, uh, here I am. I'm going to play Friday the 13th for real. No cheat codes, no game genie codes, no pro action, nothing. We're going to see how long your dear old Slasher Librarian can last <laughs> when uh, actually taking the challenge up uh, with no help uh, from cheats. Um, let's go. You know, I, I love how like there's only like two, two, maybe three characters on here. You know, that can run fast and jump high, or whatever. The other ones move so slow. One of them can't jump or run. A couple of them, I think. And it's like, that's your punishment for dying too many times? <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, we'll give you six lives, but uh, if you know, if you if you lose more than three, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to be punished. Uh, we're going to start with one of the best ones. That's Mark. And uh, here we go. And we will be lighting torches. We're going to have to do everything right. I just don't think I'm going to last that long, but we'll try. Ah, no auto-fire! <clears throat> uh, we need to get a uh, Zippo pretty soon. Ah! It takes too many... There it is. That's why I did that. I had to take the chance. So, alright, let's start lighting our fireplaces. We need a, we need a knife, too. You know, I really think the developers of this... Oh, no. No, 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 Jason. I really think the developers of this game saw Friday the 13th Part 3, where Chrissy... Alright, here we go. I think they saw the end of Part 3 where Chris is in the canoe. And she dreams or hallucinates that uh, Pamela is coming out of the water and pulling her down. And they're like, oh, there's zombies in these movies. Okay, let's put a bunch of zombies in the video game because that's what people are going to expect. Uh, we're going to do this fight uh, as Debbie. Shit. Jason Voorhees punch out. I can't believe I did that with only taking one hit, guys. You lose so much health in this game so quick, it's just not right. Uh, let's see here. Alright, let's uh, switch back. I need to find him some uh, medicine or whatever it is. And we need to we need to light some torches for sure. So uh, let's go. Kind of afraid to go this way. I'm afraid Jason's going to be going that way. We'll see how far I can make it uh, without the help of the game genie. All right, here we go. Let's go light this fireplace. It's the fights outside with Jason that are going to get me killed quickest. Uh, they're just really hard. It's hard to avoid his attacks outside. It's a little harder. You, you don't got the whole Mike Tyson thing, uh, the punch out thing going. Oh my goodness, I get so lost in these. Somebody help me. I can read a book, but I can't find my way through a damn cabin. I need a potion or, what, or medicine bottle or whatever. Oh, those wolves are going to be a bitch. Oh, no. Really? You little son of a gun. And he's at the lake. Imagine that. Jason at the lake. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
let's get out of here. I really do wish I had a potion or whatever. And I hate going to the lake too because it's so hard when you don't have the game genie cheat on to not get uh, hit when you're in the boat, especially if Jason comes through the water. Uh, I, I don't have time to mess with these people. We got to get going. Uh, let's see, which way are we going here? I think it's this way. Yeah, I thought that was a key. I'm blind. I am blind. I know you, you wouldn't think so because I read so many books, but I am. Alright, here we go. I did not mean to go in there. Not yet. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me right now? Thank you. See, I can't, I can't help it. I'm taking hits. Hey, there wasn't no zombie, though. Alright, this is, this is, oh, this is going to be bad. Especially if he has a toothbrush. No toothbrush. Hey, I'm not doing as bad as I uh, thought I'd do. <laughs> It's, getting into, it's taking a little longer to kill him. We're going to get the torch, and maybe that'll help us. Um, I wish there was a way to bring back dead counselors, but there's there's just not. There's not a way to do it. Oh, my God. The damn bird got me. Jason, don't get me. All right. Really? Really, dude? i got to fight you again already? Okay. I'm really hoping for a potion, or whatever you want to call it. I'm watching the timer up there. Uh, we're just going to have to go fight him. <clears throat> Let's see if he's got the toothbrush coming after my gums, my gingivitis. Okay, this is a tiny cabin. Where the hell is he hiding? Underneath the lampshade? In the curtains? He's got the toothbrush, folks. Oh, he got me. He tricked me. I barely survived that one. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't want to lose uh, Paul, so I'm going to actually uh, switch with uh, Chrissy for now until I can come cure uh, Mark because I really do like playing as Mark and I don't want to lose him. Ah, but let's uh, let's let's pass some stuff over here. I thought I could pass the other stuff too. I guess not. Let's see. Okay, so I can't take the lighter and I can't take the key. Hmm. I thought I could do that. Anyways, we'll 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 we'll, we'll get them cured and we'll be back. realize what I did. I'm blind, I told you. Now if Jason goes after Mark, we might have a problem, so we'll just do what we can do. What the hell? Okay, so the uh, the knife is gone. <laughs> no matter what I do here, it's just gone. Okay. Um, okay. I messed that up. So I'm back to throwing spitballs. 
Oh, nope, not doing the woods. Where is he at? They're not spawning me anything extra here. What the hell? And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Mark is dead. We'll go with, uh, Debbie here. Ooh, Jason's waiting on us already. Let's find him. I told you guys I wouldn't last long. Damn, I'm going down fast, guys. I'm going down so fast. Oh my goodness, I'm going down so fast. Hey, bird. Get out of here. Alright. We're going to go this way. Where are we at? Oh, I went the wrong damn way. Well, I'm getting my butt kicked today. This is so embarrassing. I think I might have to retire. My days of reading books are over. Is this where we're at? Oh my goodness. Yes, I saw it. Ah, I saw it. I can't cure myself. Am I going the wrong way again? Oh my goodness. All right, we really got to get that torch, guys. I can't remember if this is a big place or not. Let's see. Was this was this a little one? I think this is a little one. Yeah, it's a little one. So many damn zombies. Why? Oh my god, really? I miss my game genie codes. I jumped right into that fucker. Now can I cure myself? It's not fair. Okay. I believe I'm not finding any more. No, oh, I got to go to the the mountain area. That's right. Need a better weapon is what I need. Or did it say you go to the cabin by the lake? Let's 
Let's see where he's at. And he's by the lake. Imagine that. Jason going by the lake. Oh my goodness. Where's the exit from here? All right, let's see. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die before I get there. I'm gonna have to go in here, in one of these cabins that has somebody in it and swap with them. Those kids are just gonna have to die apparently. All right, Paul, we're switching. Sitting here trying my best to get a potion just so I can cure up one of my good counselors here. Oh, the bird's coming. It's the birds. He's going to bird me. Look how slow I'm going now. Oh my god. Why are you so slow, Paul? Why have you not been working out and doing your cardio? I could get the torch, we might have a chance here, but I just don't feel I don't see it happening, slash of all I'm doing so horrible. So horrible. I can't even get a, a medicine bottle here. <laughs> I never claim to be good at this game or any of these uh, older games. This is all for fun just to play through and finally beat them for the first time. Uh, for some people to see it for the first time. Stuff like that. Just to see the secrets and stuff. You know, use the cheats if I have to. Get sucked back into the houses when I don't want to. Come here, Pamela Voorhees. Pamela Voorhees. Pamela Voorhees. Pamela Voorhees. They said to go by the lake and there'd be a note somewhere so I can move on to the next thing. I've killed like 20 zombies just in the past two screens. It's pretty sad when the zombie moves faster than the character. I mean, they're fucking zombies, right? Maybe this dude's a little bit faster. Nope. Not, 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 not in the slightest. Nope, don't want to be in the woods, right? Is she a little bit fast? Oh, there we go. We got one fast one left. Where are we going? To the lake. I'm telling you guys, it sucks you in. Oh my goodness, I'm about to go crazy if I get sucked in one more time. Uh, I gotta get to the lake here and fight him. 
You can do that too. Shoot it behind you. Some. Oh my God! There's no escaping the damn bird or the zombies. Oh my God! Oh my God! So if you say it, Halloween. Where the hell did the cab? Oh my God! I'm gonna die just trying to get to the damn cabins. I know I'm almost out of kids. All right, faceless nightmare fuel children. I'm so dead. I wasn't paying attention at the beginning. I was thinking of having the code. I was thinking of having the code and I let him hit me like three times. <laughs> you win for now. <laughs> I'm gonna die in the boat. It's happening. I'm dying in the boat. You just, you just wait. The birds is gonna get me. Told you. And the zombie. I got one health thing left. Where's he at? I'm so screwed. I'm so dead. She's so... It's the last fast character, too. I just need a, a, a medicine thing and go heal one of the other people up a little bit. How can I fight Jason without getting hit one time, people? I don't think I can, but we're going to try. And the bird killed me. I got killed by a gosh darn bird. Alright, three lives. Oh my goodness, everybody's just about dead. I got to be George, the slowest one in the game. Oh no, I'm back to having a rock. Oh no. You can't. J I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Birds, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's the birds. Alright, at least it's just a punch bite. Hitting them with spitballs. When I was a kid, little kid, I didn't even know that you could dodge him. So I would just every I would just die so fast fighting Jason. It was it was ridiculous. You win for now, even though you're like down to your last two lives and Oh my goodness. This is so embarrassing. I really thought I could do a little bit better than this. So it's gonna jump over their heads. I'm so dead. Oh my goodness. Ah! There it is! Go cure somebody. Wait, I just got a thing. Oh, so it he'll... Okay, I see how it works now. Okay. I see. If you have the medicine on you and you die, it heals you a little bit. Gotcha. That's good to know. See, I'm still learning things about this game all these years later. That's something you don't learn whenever you use the Game Genie. Let's see if we can find the uh, torch here. Ah, I found the cabin. Can you give me the torch? Is, is that a, th or a flashlight or whatever? No? Okay. It was worth a shot. Worth a shot. Alright, let's just go back to the game. 
Oh, fuck. No! Leave me alone, wolf! Those wolves kill you so damn fast. Those wolves are brutal. Yeah, I think we're just about to be dead here. I don't know where I'm going to get out of here. Okay. We'll just keep lighting stuff and hope hope that we uh, get the message we need to uh, get out of here. Oh, there it is. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Okay. And we're going back to the lake, Slashaholics, if we don't die first. Oh my goodness. Good thing we're going to the lake, because that's where Jason's waiting on us at. We've got to fight him with spitballs. I did not mean to do that. All right, we're by the lake. Apparently it's not that cabin by the lake. Alright, what do we got here? Go into the cabin <laughs> near the cave. Okay. Oh my god. First let's go die. Because that's what's that's what's about to happen. I'm not sure we're gonna get there in time. I'm not sure we're gonna we're gonna make it alive. Nope. Jason wiped out the kids. Game over. Well guys, that's how far <laughs> I made it. You know, I was kinda hoping I would get the whole uh you and your friends are dead. Game over. Uh, but uh, anyways, I had a lot of fun playing this. I hope you guys had fun watching. Uh, you know, I did use the Game Genie code to get through the three days and beat the game. And I did promise that I would try to beat it without the help of the Game Genie. And I didn't even make it to the end of day one. So you can see how uh, amazing I am at video games. And that's why I chose to do a video game show on the channel. Because I'm so damn good at them, right? Uh, but like I said before, it's not about being good at the game. We all played these horror games as kids back in the 80s and stuff in 90s. Some of us might have played them more recent. Uh, younger people that got into retro gaming. And all I want to do is take us down a, a trip down memory lane <clears throat> with these old horror games uh, from days gone by. Uh, use the cheats if we have to so we can see the entire game. Check out the secrets. See it from beginning to end. And just have fun while we're doing it, getting to talk to you guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of Episode 1. Now that Part 3 of Episode 1 is complete, I will put out a version of this where it's all together. You might be listening to that right now. Uh, either way, th thank you for coming with me on this first episode of Retro Horror Gaming. Uh, Friday the 13th had to be the first one. This is the most memorable game for me from the Nintendo in those days of scary games back in the retro uh, video game uh, genres. Uh, so it had to be this one first. Uh, that and because what the channel is. I will be doing the Nightmare on Elm Street game too uh, pretty soon. Uh, the next game I'm going to do for episode 2 
I'm going to keep it a surprise, but be looking for that very soon. Until next time, this is your friendly neighborhood slasher librarian saying thanks for watching, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.